Tracker 19, this is Mr. Alex Truck reporting for duty. What a false <laughs> Mr. Alex Tech. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and any thoughts or feedback down in the comment section below. Or the doggy gets it. What up, folks? Alex here, Mr. Alex Tech, and welcome to this 5 Minute Friday video. And obviously in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of fun, completely free voice change effects which are built into all the versions of DaVinci Resolve. So let's boot it open and I'll show you how to do it. So here we are within DaVinci Resolve, we're currently on the edit tab and I've got some footage set up on my timeline. And we're going to start off with pitch because it's really quick and easy to do. So the first thing you want to do, give your audio track a click on your timeline so it's highlighted in red. And then we're going to go to the top right hand corner, open up the inspector. Make sure that you're on the audio tab and then come down to where you see pitch. Now if it's minimized like so, you just need to click on the word pitch to expand the options and then it's the semitones we want to adjust. Now any positive numbers here will give you a squeaky high pitched voice. And negative numbers will give you a much deeper voice. So if I just increase this, let's go with something about 8, that will do. And then we'll hit play. Obviously in this video we can... We've got a squeaky high pitched voice. If we take that down to negative numbers and hit play. We've got our mysterious dark voice. So you can just have a play with those pitch semitones to get some fun effects from there. Now there's actually another way that you can apply this pitch correction. So what we're going to do, open up the effects library, top left hand corner, come down till you see the audio effects, and then you've got all of the Fairlight audio effects in here. Scroll down until you see pitch, and then what you can do from here is you can apply it in two different ways. So if I grab pitch, I can either drag it onto my actual audio here on my timeline, and then it will just affect this particular piece of audio. This little pop-up will appear, and then we just adjust the semitones as required. Or alternatively, we can drag the pitch and put it onto this entire audio track. So then anything that we put on that audio track will automatically have these pitch adjustments enabled. So it just depends on whether you want to do it for an entire track or individual clips. I've applied it to just this piece of audio here. So if I open up the inspector, I've now got this effects tab which I can click and I can see my pitch within here. So I can make any changes as I need to. And if I want to get that pop up back, I just click on this little icon in the top right hand corner to bring up the pitch settings like so. And then if you want to get rid of the pitch effect, you can just click on this little bin icon to get rid of it like so. So next up, we've got the robot voice. So everything else we're going to do is found within this effects library within the audio effects on the left hand side. And if you want to do the robot voice, you need to scroll up until you see flanger. Click and hold on flanger and then drag it again, either onto the specific piece of audio or onto the track itself and then release, and the flanger pop-up will appear. Now, as always with Fairlight, there's loads of different options. For this video, we're just gonna stick to the defaults because they're there, they're readily available, and they're super easy to use. So what we need to do, once this window appears, come up to this little drop-down at the top where it says default, click that, and there's a bunch of presets. So have a play with them, mess around, see which one works for you. The one we're gonna have a quick look at is this Robo Voice. So we're gonna click that, and then a handy tip for you here, you don't need to close this box down if you don't want to. I'm just going to move it out of the way. I can move my playhead on my timeline, hit play, and therefore we can hear our robot voice. We can make any changes as we need to, and if we want, we can just close that down and job done. Now this is where we can start to have some fun and combining different effects. So I've got the robot voice on this one. If I give it a click, go to the inspector, I've still got the pitch correction, so I can increase my pitch, hit play, and now we've got a higher pitched robot voice. So you can just start to mess around and have some fun with those. Next up, we've got distortion. Now there's loads of things that you can do with distortion. So what you want to do, it's a couple above the flanger. So grab distortion, drag that onto there like so. Here's your pop-up window. Again, default, there's a couple of options in here. They're all pretty good fun to have a little mess around with. The one I use for the introduction is simply megaphone. So give that a click. We'll close that down, and here we have a simple megaphone effect. Again, combine them, start messing around with the pitch, and you can create loads of different alternatives to that standard megaphone effect. And last but not least, we've got the exterminate effect. So still from within the effects library, scroll down to modulation, drag that onto there like so. Again, from the drop down, loads of different options in here. There's one called exterminate. 
mess with the pitch, get it just right, and there you go, you've got a Doctor Who exterminate effect. And there you go, easy as that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Any thoughts or feedback, please do put them down in the comment section below. And if you're new here, you enjoyed this video, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button for me. Thanks for watching, folks. Take it easy. I'll catch you next time. See ya.